हेलो एवरी वन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू ग्रेट टाइम ऑफ दिस वीक एंड एंड आज प्रोमिस लेट्स शूट फॉर सॉल्विंग द वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट टू सेवेंटी एट ऑल्सो हु गेव ऑल्सो फॉर दोज हु गेव दिस कॉन्टेस्ट इन द मॉर्निंग टूडे आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू सिक्योर अ गुड रैंक सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द सीरीज इज कीप मल्टीप्लाइंग फाउंड वैल्यूज बाई हेयर इन दिस इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन एन आर ऑफ इंटेजर्स एंड एन अनदर इंटेजर नेम्ड ओरिजिनल देर आर फ्यू स्टेप्स अप टिल विच द ओरिजिनल गेट्स अपडेटेड लेट्स वॉक थ्रू दो स्टेप्स If original is found in nums, then we multiply it with two. Otherwise, we stop the process. We keep on doing the same process, and get, the original keep on getting updated as long as you are able to find that element in your nums array. We need to return the final value of the original that has been updated in the last. So there is an example that is specified. I'll be talking about this example and the way to go about it in the presentation. So let's quickly move on to it. Keep multiplying found values by two. Lead code two one five four. It's an easy level question on lead code, and I totally feel the same. So let's get started with the same example that was specified in the question. Let's try and understand the rules that were specified there. If original is found in nums, we multiply it by two. Otherwise, we stop the process. We need to keep on doing this process till the time this condition is met, and finally, we need to return the updated value of original. So let's take the same example that was specified in the question, and here we have the original last three. And the input array is five, three, six, one, two. In the first step, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cast this input array into a set. So let's assume we have a set because the searching in set takes order of one rather than order of n. So that will give us the benefit when we are checking whether original is present in the input set rather than original is present in the input array. So let's get started. The first original value that is given to us is three. So we check if three is part of the set. It is part of the set. It is definitely there. So what do we do? We update the original by two. So we multiply it with two. So three into two gives us gives us six. Now again we check if six is part of the set. Yes, six is part of the set. Again we do the same thing. We multiply it with two. So it gets updated to twelve. Let's again do the same thing. Uh, we we are going to check whether twelve is part of the set. Twelve is again part of the set. So we'll multiply it with two, and it gets updated to twenty-four. Now again, we check whether twenty-four is part of the set. It is not part of the set. We stop this process as per the rules, and we return the final updated original value to twenty-four as per the question. This was expected from the question as the answer, and this is what we have done. Now let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude this approach. As stated in the presentation, I have created a hash set, and I keep on adding all the elements that are present in the input array into the set. I have written a while loop. While set dot contains original, I keep on updating original by two, and as soon as this condition is broken or is violated, I return the original value that has been finally set. So the time complexity of this approach, in the worst case, can be equal to. the total number of elements that are present in my input array because there could be case that up till all the possibilities of nums uh, we are getting the original value present in the set uh, this brings me to this end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question